What's going on, Relentless family? We are in Houston, Texas, and it is Thursday. And we ask you guys to stand with us on Sunday. And we are here. And Relentless staff members drove 16 hours through the night to bring thousands of dollars of plumbing supplies. So tell us what's going on in the city. The power was going out in the houses and in the grocery stores, so everything was going spoiled at once. So once we got, me and my team, my partner, Roz, at the relief game, once we got everything intact, we're getting that out, which we still, day by day, even today, getting our food and water. So what we're doing now, my brother Rogers, uh, James Hart, you know, we all came together and we went and got the plumbers union and all the plumbers throughout Houston. And then our team is assessing and taking in every address. Like, it didn't matter who you were, we, we left the doors open. If you need help with your plumbing, fill out the form, get it to us, and it's just a long list that grows by about a minute. And we're going out to um, fix it for them. So rather than wait on people and you have to wait on insurance and excuses, we're getting it done. And you know, the, the main thing, relief game, we move on impact and impulse. Like we don't wait, we just yeah. get to it. While people trying to strategize and make plans, we just gonna get to it. Stuff like this is important for people to be able to see because if you don't, you won't really know what's going on. You, it may be a home across the street, you don't even know the pipes busted because you're on the outside looking in. You have no idea what they're going on, what's going on in the inside. So, Re Relentless Church, I just want you to know that we didn't just come down trying to, you know, uh, act like we know everything that's going on. We partnered with the Relief Gang, Traded Truth, DJ Mr. Rogers, and all we did was show up. Show up. And so, we brought over $40,000 for the pipes, plumbing equipment. Every type of equipment he had on the paper for us because he has the people to do the work, they just didn't have the supplies for the work. We are here so that we can support our brothers and sisters in Houston, Texas. He said the need was supplies. We found $40,000, $45,000 worth of supplies that he gave us specifically, dropping off in just a minute. And it was your generosity that made that happen. So Trey, Relentless Church, Relentless Online Community, Rock Nation, Three the Hardened Way, the Why Not Foundation. We celebrate and support, and we showing up. I was sweeping water for like four or five days to continue to keep the water to where it started making my tile and my wood floors come out, I mean, come up. So at this point, at five or six o'clock in the morning, I was pushing furniture. We got something for you right over here. This Thank is you. what we're trying to share with you is that people will say that they're gonna help you, but they don't show up. No. And she's one of many, so we're on the ground. We were bringing food. We brought hot food instead of frozen food. We have the supply truck here right now. Thank you so much. She needs pipes in her home. She needs drywall. She needs all of the all of the things that it takes to fix the pipes. And so that's what your generosity did. And so we're here not just to service her, but to service however many more homes we can adopt to help these plumbers get these supplies that they need. That they need that because they need. there are no supplies. We have plumbers, but we don't have I'm supplies. Not, exactly. So yeah. Exactly. So exactly. we're here to help her and so many other people in the Houston area. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you. We I really you. appreciate it. More than it. prayers. <laughs> More than prayers. Thank you to you and your husband. You want to talk about real life heroes, real life angels. Ricky Lake. Terry Peaton, relentless staff members who drove how many hours? I mean, 16 hours. 16. 16 hours through the night from Greenville, South Carolina, stopped in Fort Payne, Alabama, and then drove across the bayou to get here right now to drop off $45,000 worth of plumbing supplies to people who are in desperate need. And it was the relentless church rock online community that stepped up to the plate and i just want to take a moment to honor these men who in the middle of a pandemic walked the fine line between madness and commitment and i thank god for y'all this is what happens when you come together for people 
just like Alexis, when we heard her story, there are so many people that do not have insurance and then there are people who they are just not showing up for. And so these supplies are going to fix pipes, the pipes of many, many homes. So we've adopted a lot of homes here in Houston and those items are going to bless these people. So we just want to say thank you and we love you so much. And I want to say thank you to these mighty men of God because it doesn't count until you're in the trenches when it's a, a late night call that says, can you get a few hours of rest and drive to make this happen for other people? What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Come on. So I am so grateful for Officer Terry and Mr. Ricky Lake. You know why? Because they show up. Show up. <laughs>